City. Actually, that's spot on. <laughs> <laughs> spot on. <laughs> All the competition that try to compete. Everything is spot on. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Some of y'all rolling out of bed, yawning. Some of y'all rolling up. Excuse my language. Some of y'all are eating, man. You understand me? It's your boy Bruce T, man. Some of y'all finna make y'all way over to the parlay house. And guess what? Before you go up, before, look, look, look at me, right? Before you go, look at this SOS page right here, man. I got some fire for you on here, man. Don't be out at the parlay house asking people from all over the country what you like on the ticket. I don't know what you like right now, man. Look, I got it right here for you. And we finna get into it right now. The house all the way wins, man. Look, first on my list, man, hmm? Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, look, I know some of y'all saying, look, the Bucs lost last week on my ticket. They lost to the Tennessee Titans, blah, 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 blah. Look, I like them in this spot against Seattle, okay? I like them with the plus seven. Hmm? Now, Justin Brick, the starting center for the Seattle Seahawks, He's out for the season. Torn ACL, man. So with that being said, Russell Wilson will be running for his life. You understand me? The center and the quarterback are one and the same. They call out line protection. They pick up the blitzes. Know this. Know that the Buccaneers defense will get after Russell Wilson. And look, that also means that the running game won't be as, as good as well. And y'all remember last year when Zeke didn't have his center. You know, he still led the league, but it was kind of rusty at times. So, look, with that, with that center gone, I don't like the running game to be as, as, as stable as it has been in the last few weeks. Now, look, Seattle may win this game, but I don't like them to win by a touchdown. It might come down to a field goal or something like that. So, if I had to do anything, man, I'll pick the Bucks with the plus seven. Seattle usually struggles when they're favored like that, man. Next on my list, you understand me? I like the Philadelphia-Chicago game to go under 45 and a half points, you understand me? Um, the offense has been anemic in Chicago. You, you've seen it the last few weeks. Trubisky's just been, he's just not good. I'm sorry to say it. You understand me? Now, Philly, Philly got back to the run game last week. You understand me? Against the Bills, went out there and dominated. I think they'll stay to that same recipe this week. With the running game, you understand me? Um, now, the Birds, I think they got a good defense. They got five all pro, you understand me, defensive players on this side of the ball, you understand me? But, so with that being said, I think it'll be a very hard fall game. It's gonna be cold. I think they'll run it, and I think they'll be a gritty game, man. So if it was me, I'd take the under on this game. Next on my list, I like the Green Bay Packers. Shout out to the Cheesehead fans, you understand me? I like them to cover that form, that folk. And that's three and a half folk. It'll go up and down on your ticket. You gotta check it on Sunday morning, but look, the Chargers just fired their offensive coordinator, Ken Wisenhunt. And that's not going to help them. They was anemic with him. They're going to be trashed this week. Now, they might throw in a couple new wrinkles. They might catch him off guard, but I like the Packers. They're a solid team. I like them to go on the road in L.A. and go ahead and cover that foe. In L.A., the Chargers don't have a real good fan base in L.A. Soccer field, there'd be more Packers fans there. Um, plus, the Chargers are 0-3-1 at home this year. I mean, I'm just saying, you like the Packers, man. They 71, man. Take them, man. Next on my list, I like the Patriots. I like the Patriots to cover the three. I also like this game to go under 46 points. Uh, coming off a of bye week, you know, John Harbaugh, he has won 83% of his games with 63% of them covering the spread. Now, he will get Jimmy Smith back this week, Hollywood Brown for the offensive side. And I mean, you know, the Pats will be ready to play, but they usually make it hard on second year, first and second year quarterbacks. Um, Lamar, he's going to be dynamic. He's going to run. He's going to throw. But the Patriots have the number one defense in the, in the league, man. Um, I think Stephen Gilmore, he'll give Hollywood a shot for his money. Now, I think Hollywood might get off because he, he, he just, that boy just fast. Lamar going to get his too. Um, but overall, I think the, the Patriots, they make it a gritty game, and I, I think they win. You know, might push, but take the under. But if they don't push, I can, they can cover by four. Um, but I like the under and the Patriots to cover their three. I also like the Jaguars with the plus one in London. Not, that's a 9-30 game now, folks. Now, that's what I'm saying. Y'all got to get up. Y'all got to get up to see this, man. This game come on 9-30. Some of y'all are already be in first service. You understand me? So, look. Take the, if you can, Saturday, take the Jaguars plus one. I like Carolina with the folk at home this week to bounce back from last week. Again, they got stomped last week, 51 to 13. I like them to come back home. I like them to bounce back. Kyle Allen, um, McCaffrey. I think they do their thing, man. Uh, 
I also like the Browns this week. I like the under 44. I like the Lions with the plus three. The Raiders are two and six when favored. Um, it's going to be close, but I like Matthew Stafford to cover that. On the road, plus three with the Lions. Also, give me the Steelers. Now, this, now this is a crazy game. This is the Steelers and the Colts. Some of y'all, you can just stay away from this game. You can stay away, but if you want to bet on this game, you got to sell my A pick. You need one more pick to, to lock it up. I'm going to pick the Steelers, man. Now, early in the week, I was going to pick the Colts, um, but they lost um, Hilton. And when they lost T.Y. Hilton, man, um, the point spread went from plus seven all the way down to plus one. Um, so that, that kind of scared me right there a little bit. Plus, I mean, when the Colts are favored by seven, um, they usually they usually don't do too too good. And I mean, the, the Steelers are five and two against winning teams in their last seven games. Hear what I'm saying? They five and two against winning teams in the last seven games. Take the Steelers in this spot, man. The number moved too much, man. I also I like the Washington uh, Redskins and the Bills to go under. And I like the, uh, the Washington Redskins to also cover that team. I don't trust the Bills' offense. I don't trust uh, the quarterback. Both defenses will play good. But look for the Redskins to lean on Adrian Peterson. And I like the under, man. Once again, don't take all these picks and put them on one ticket, man. Get you a three or four pick. You know what I'm saying? Get you a bad one pick. I got some locks in there. You understand me? Let me know what you win. Put your money where it's at. Send your ticket in. Send the money in. We can send it to SOS. We'll post it. Let these folks know we got winners. Number winners. It's your boy Bruce T, man. The sports baby with the drop shag. Not just accurate, but spot on.